What's going on guys? I'm going to give you an updated version on how to make any mic sound the best for free. It'll take any quality mic and put it at professional grade. I'm going to show you step by step what you need and how to do it and uh, answer some questions that I failed to answer in my previous video. Okay, so in order to get any mic to sound the best, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, go to your browser and download Voice Meter Banana. You're going to want to scroll down, and the download should be right about here. Then you're going to need VB uh, audio cable. That's just so everything can run together. Uh, go to the download for your operating system. You're going to need ASIO for all. Sorry about that. Uh, you want to. Either that one, or you can scroll down and get it from here. Um, go to mini host. I have provided a uh, zip file for you. You need the Reaper replugs and a plug called RN Noise. Uh, this will help uh, give it that RTX effect to where it kind of like blocks out the background noise pretty well, like keyboards and animals and stuff like that. So. All right, so once you download all those, you're going to install them. And then the very first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to open your voice meter banana. I'm going to go through this as quick as possible. You're seeing one line here for my mic. Um, I'll explain that at the end, uh, how to make that stereo. The R and noise is what actually causes this. But first of all, you want to come over here to your input and select your microphone that you're using. Uh, the WDM is usually better better quality um but if it if you're having problems with it just go with the mme that's fine too as your second one you want to put that cable output this is what wires it through everything so that you get an output and an input then you're going to want to come over here to your hardware out section and a1 should be set to your primary um, output which for me is my speakers a2 you can set for headphones or uh, a monitor or whatever you want. How this works is A1, if I click A1, I can hear it through my speakers and it'll, well, now I'm getting an echo effect, but it'll play through my speakers. It's kind of like a monitoring, monitoring device. Sorry about that. And make sure you have this selected. You don't know how many times that I have unselected this and not that, if that made sense, um, so that it wouldn't be coming through my speakers. And then I couldn't figure out why I couldn't hear anything on my computer while this was running. Keep this selected. If you don't want to hear your voice, diselect the A1 from here. Uh, so the next step we're going to do is minimize that. You have to keep these running in the background um, while you're recording on OBS or whatever you're wanting to do. Pop up your mini host module. Um, when you first open it up, it'll have a splash screen and a little OK button, just click OK. And then uh, you're going to want to go to File, uh, Preferences, then go over here to Plugins. And right here, the easiest way to do this is to go to Browse, uh, this PC, Local Disk C, and then scroll all the way down and just highlight Program Files and select OK. To get the RN noise, is just put wherever you download it to like uh, I put it on my desktop, but uh, yours would probably be in your download file. Just go through and find the RN noise, and then you're gonna hit scan and verify, and you'll see all these pop up. Everything will be in, and you're good to go to the next part. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put these in one by one. I've, I've kind of changed it for my first video because I feel like this sounds better. Um, you're gonna have your reefer, which how you add them is you just right click, add plugins, and you go down and you find reefer, which would be here. Click that, it'll pop up with a little window. Um, you can close these out and then just double click and they'll pop back up. What you wanna do when you get this up is you wanna put your edit mode to precise. Uh, this should be around 4096. If you go any lower or higher, it uh, can affect the it can affect your voice and make it sound robotic or laggy and where like you say something and then it registers on video a couple seconds later. So 
I wouldn't mess around with that too much. Uh, put your mode to subtract. And then this right here, what you're going to want to do is wait about five to 10 seconds and be completely quiet. What this is going to do is build a subtract profile from your mic. So any hissing, buzzing, or like a fan in the background or anything like that, it'll take it out. I recommend you get it as quiet as possible in the room you're in and then just click this for about 10 seconds and it'll build a profile. You'll see it making all these crazy lines and all that. Uh, mine's not doing it because it's not connected, but it'll build this profile and take out any background noise or anything else that you don't want in your um, recording out. Like right now you see this is what's passing through. The red is what isn't. So if I be quiet for a second, just watch. Like that white line, that's uh, that's stuff that we don't want coming through. And moving on to the next one, just delete this real quick. Uh, you're going to want req, and I can just show you that on here. And you'll adjust these EQ settings according to your voice. My voice naturally has a lot of bass to it, and when I play back through my computer speakers, they have a lot of bass. That's why I've adjusted my bass from the previous video down. Anyway, you got to adjust these for your voice. You can use this to set up. I hate mid in my voice. It makes me sound nasally, but just fine tune it, play with it, uh, go through step by step. It's best to do this before you do anything else. That way you get a true sound of how your voice will sound. And then we're going to move on to the next one. Like I said, you can close them out and double click. Uh, this is the best part. Uh, this is your RN noise. This is what allows it to kind of act like RTX voice is uh, like literally your pop up is just this because it's a uh, it's a learning program. Um, it uses neural networks and all that pizzazz to uh, kind of learn. Uh, like when you start out, I can't really demonstrate it here. My other video has a very good demonstration of it. Okay, so this is uh, just the one program, and what's so cool about it is. Like uh, right now, I'm going to start typing on this uh, mechanical keyboard that I have set up over here for my Xbox. I'm, I'm literally typing it, and I'm pretty sure you could hear just the very beginning. That's the learning process. It, it, it'll let it pass for just a second, and then it'll learn it and block it completely out. Like here, I'll uh, bang on the desk. I could see here that it just took just a minute and it blocked it out. And it doesn't affect the way your voice sounds too much. So it's it's a very good program. Just tie that in there. And then you're going to, well, real quick, uh, how you tie all these in is once you. That easy. You just make a line and go one through the other. And yeah, so then you're going to want to add recomp. Like I said, just find it in here, add it in. These don't have to be in order. You can have them all about. It doesn't matter. I just, I don't know. I'm anal about stuff. Yeah. On your recomp, you want to make sure that the, the where you're talking normally, uh, except for like, I don't have my pop filter on right now. So anytime that I look at the mic and talk, it's going to go really high. You want this to sit average at about uh, anywhere from two to four. And then when you get really loud, it'll jump up. That's your uh, your, your compressor working. It's compressing the highs uh, to make them level and your lows to make them level. Adjust this up to about 3.3. .3. You want your ratio to be four to one. Uh, and then the very, the very last thing that you're going to want to do is regate. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I thought that said regis. I was like, what the hell? What the hell we got going on over here? Uh, that's your uh, pass-through gate for the quiet stuff, like keyboard clicks or anything like that that might pass through, which a lot of them don't because this, like I said, the R noise is very good at that. But I would set it at a comfortable place to where if you're talking really quiet and you're kind of far away from the mic or you lean back or something like that, it still picks up. Uh, so just play around with that. Make sure that when you're talking at pretty much the lowest volume that you're going to talk, 
uh, that it's above this line here. That way it goes through. And that's it, guys. That's that's the setup there. But then how we fix the single channel, I'll just uh, give you an example here. I got my other screen back here, but we'll bring this file in. So you'll get one single, very quiet uh, audio file. How you'll fix this and make it stereo is uh, come down here, hit split the stereo track, Delete that, double click, hit Control D on your uh, keyboard, and go here, and hit Make Stereo. There you go. It'll come out your left and right channel, exactly how it's supposed to. And then what I usually do is, go, this is why Audacity is awesome, you can do so much in here. Go to Amplify, turn it up, it'll take a second to render, and then you'll see, uh, these are the places that are really high. So if, if your commentary isn't loud enough, um, you might want to go to these places and reduce the volume so that you can amplify it more without clipping. Uh, and then you just go to file, um, export, export as MP3, and it'll export that file as a stereo file. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy and have fun with a better sound of mic. Peace out.